quite frequently, I remind my chat that I have ADHD, both because I have to and because I forget that I told them. And this one clip really just sums it up for you. I present to you ADHD in 10 seconds. What are you? Okay, we're getting away from this. Gotcha. What are you? There's so many pigs. Pigs. <laughs> Opa, e como tá aqui, ó? Eita, Asking my fiance okay. if I can drive his Jeep drive after drive flipping Jeep my car. <laughs> Absolutely fucking not. Why not? Uh, this thing has a, you, you know how easy it is to flip a Jeep? You flipped a fucking Chevy that was like two fucking tons somehow. You got to you hit a fucking gravel like a loose gravel road and two leafy boys and it ruins your fucking day. I put you in this Jeep just cuz it's got a roll cage it means you're going to try and fucking test it out. The fuck you <laughs> driving my Jeep. I'm still paying for this bitch. Absolutely fucking not. Absolutely not. Geico would see my shit and they'd be like, oh, did you let your girl drive? And I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, <clears throat> total loss. Absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck no. Ab no. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. No. That all this power that I found gonna <laughs> totally will, abuse it. I hit so much stuff, oh do not get into God. my way. Because I found a <laughs> stick and I'm using it today. I got a stick. What starts with W and ends in T? Yes, it does. Damn it! <laughs> what do you call a train carrying bubblegum? A choo-choo? Damn it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is a fish so easy to weigh? Something to do with scales, but I can't think. Oh. Because they come with their own scales. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> What do you call a fish with no eye? Fish. Damn it. Right up, I got that one. A doo doo. Right, Muffin, do you want to go outside? Yeah? Can we go outside? I'm leaving steak in a jar of vodka for a month. Or until something interesting happens. And now we wait. Well, it's been over a month and what happened to my steak? I've unleashed the beast. No! It's like cook the steak, my guy. Bone apple teeth! Oh god! It's time for a shot. Diboja! I threw up. What is going on? Okay. It was reported as stolen. I didn't. I didn't know. 
What is she doing? I'm trying to steal your car. David 136, suspect just stole my vehicle. Is that her right there? There she is. Come here now! Oh, apparently so. <laughs> His car is right there. I told you guys I didn't steal Jimmy. that car. You, stole, you, just, stole you just stole a police car. No, I'm going to jail for over You just stole a police car in front of three police officers. Get, get away from it. I literally just took this thing outside two fucking seconds ago. What am I going to do with it? You stay there. Get into the, get into the thing. Get in, get in, get into the thing. Okay, here we go. Now stay there. Okay, here we go. Stupid fucking cat. <clears throat> okay, you're half dying, I know, but run. Be, be free. No, leave it, leave it alone. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Chat, what size foot feet am I? Go. What size, what's... That could not have been my worst time. Here's a literal design secret used by map companies to catch when competitors are stealing their maps. What they would do is insert fake streets and town names, so if they appeared in a competitor's map, they would know for a fact that they were being copied. This technique of hiding secret information in plain sight is known as steganography, and it was used by the lyric site Genius, who suspected that Google was copying their lyrics. So what they did is they inserted a secret message using a combination of straight and curly apostrophes that spelled out red-handed, and surely enough, the same message later resurfaced in Google's website. Which is ironic because Google used the exact same technique to catch Bing stealing their search results by coming up with imaginary terms and later seeing them pop up on Bing. Dictionaries have also been known to use similar techniques. Follow for more design secrets. Uh, there is a dog in the cheetah cage. Most of y'all probably already know why there's a dog in the cheetah's crib, but for those that don't, you're welcome in advance. Cheetahs get bodied by every aspect of life. It's so bad that up to 90% of cheetah cubs will be in the ground before their first birthday. And apparently the generational trauma of being a Cheeto-flavored doorman has given them severe anxiety. Cheetahs in captivity often experience high stress. It's so bad that many cheetahs are too shy to mate. You can't really afford to be shy when you're really one bad year away from being endangered. A solution? Some zoos like the San Diego Safari Park will assign emotional support dogs for the introverted wildcats. The idea is that the cheetahs model their behavior after the dogs and take social cues from them, all while gaining a much needed friend. By having a morality boost in the form of a dog, the cheetahs gain confidence and become less agitated, which makes it easier to get them to mate and make more of themselves. To somehow make this story even more wholesome, many of the dogs San Diego used were rescued from shelters. In fact, this dog named Hopper was actually taken from a kill shelter. The cheetah cubs are first introduced to their new best friends when they're about three to four months old, when they go on supervised playdates. If they seem to get along, the cheetah and the dog are both moved into the same living space, where they become roommates and basically spend every moment together. Except when eating, but only because the dog would eat all the cheetah's food if you gave him the chance. Other than that, they're pretty much inseparable. Reason 9000, we don't deserve dogs. Someone signed me up for Christian Mingle with my fucking business email. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't farmers only. They'd be messaging you and be like, how much you cost, boy? <laughs> oh, my God. Where the press tag at? <laughs> how much can you carry? <laughs> I'm fucking queuing up. Fuck me. Name three Irish rivers. Uh, River Shannon, River Liffey, and River Dance. Correct. When is summer in Ireland? The 15th to the 23rd of July. Correct. What are Ireland's national sports? Uh, Gaelic football, hurling, and binge drinking. Correct. What is Ireland's national dish? Nye Horan. He is. What are the two predominant religions in Ireland? Man United and Liverpool. They are. How many counties are there in Ireland? 22. How many accents are there in Ireland? 2,000. Yes. The current Irish government is a coalition of which three parties? Apple, Facebook and Google. Yes. Name the area with the highest Irish population density. London. Correct. What time zone does Ireland run on? Five minutes past when it should be. Yes. 
Where will you go if you defraud the government in Ireland? Prison. Where will you go if you defraud the taxpayer in Ireland? Spain. Yes. Who came to power following Irish independence from Great Britain? The Catholic Church. They did. What is Ireland's biggest export? Nurses. What is Ireland's biggest import? Landlords. What is the current street value of crack in Ireland? 90. The crack is 90. Now for the Irish language section. Cackler, er I glad. What? Cackler, er I glad. Sorry, I, I don't speak Irish, so. Jesus. Okay, now for the practical. Please pour a pint of Guinness from this can. No, wait. Never drink Guinness from a can. Correct. Welcome to Ireland, lads. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have been saying that Kai is really mean, and I'm going to prove to you that he can be a good boy, okay? I'm going to give him this crab, and I'm going to tell him this crab is his friend and not food. He's going to understand me, and the second he punches anything, I'll end the video, all right? Look, look, he's super excited to meet him already. This is going to go great. Kai, say hello to Albert Jr. He's your new friend, okay? Nope! You do not recognize the bodies in the water. SCP-2316-XK event. The following public service announcement from the SCP Foundation contains material which may be cognitive hazardous. If you feel unwell, or believe you recognize the bodies in the water, stop watching immediately. SCP-2316 is a lake within which anomalous sensory phenomena manifest. This phenomena convinces individuals they recognize the bodies in the lake, and are compelled to aid them, often dying in the process. In the last six days, this anomal has spread to around 65% of all large bodies of water on Earth. As such, it is essential you remember at all times that you do not recognize the bodies in the water. Stay inside. Do not look at any bodies of water, such as lakes or rivers. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. The SCP Foundation will inform you of updates to the situation. Secure. Contain. Protect. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Oh, what's I? Late December, back in 63. <laughs> this is why I'm fucked. This is why I'm really amazed that I have friends, when I have dicks, when I have wow, when I have classic wow. 89 99 Batteries not included. Terms and conditions apply. Side effects may include virginity. She's absolutely running for me. Well, before they come down, here's my um, my part two, my alternative outfit that you'll find me in, my farming outfit. So come here, it's um, I wear my brother's jumper, which we share <laughs> within reason. And uh, I wear me work pants that are held up by a bit of twine because uh, they don't fit me. And these are me wellies that are destroyed in paint because I was painting walls and the paint never came out. My wellies are Dunlop for anyone wondering. And um, yeah, and the hair is up because they only do chart my uh, hair. <laughs> Here's Potch and there's Bruce. Hey yo, you're gonna knock me out of the truck, Bruce. And uh, here's Patch. Ew.